Oh, there it is. Hold on, let me turn off this fan. It's, uh, it's 80 degrees in here. Uh, in Celsius. Please help me. I know what you're thinking right now. Exo, what the f are you talking about? This is the worst card in the entire game. It's two blood for one attack and f uh, th well, three health in the original game. Ooh, it got buffed in Casey's mod four health now. It's not even part of a tribe. The sigil is dog. It literally just puts two, uh, it, it just, you know how the cuckoo right here, how this puts a thing in one of Leshy's spaces to block him off? Yeah, this does the same thing, but two of them to you. You can't sacrifice these dams. They don't do anything. Exo, this card is... What kind of clickbait is this? I, th uh, that's it. This has gone too far. Exo, I'm unsubscribing... I'm unsubscribing two times. But no, listen. Trust me, I would never click... Okay, wait, well, uh, let's not get carried away now. I would never, uh... Let me just show you what I'm talking about. So, essentially, in Casey's mod, the beaver received uh, a couple of buffs, actually, aside from just the one extra health. Uh, and more specifically, the dam builder sigil itself was buffed, making it so that the dams that it summons will also have any additional sigils that are on the card that summoned them in the first place. And so what you can do with this is essentially triple the output of any sigil, since you're getting three cards that have that sigil just from summoning one. And this leads to quite a variety of uh, interesting combos that you can do. Some are good, some are not so good, some actually don't really work at all. Uh, but I do like the variety that is there, and there's a lot of really interesting interactions as well. So I'm going to show some of my favorite ones, um, but there are more than what I'm showing as well that you could do. I mean, just imagine any sigil on, you know, three cards all at once. Uh, so first let's take a look at the Alpha Sigil, which is called Leader. This sigil basically makes it so that any cards next to the alpha will gain one extra attack point. Now when you combine this with the dam builder sigil, not only does that place two cards right next to the card, so immediately you have two things to give that attack buff to, but also the dams themselves will have the leader sigil, giving the card in the center, whether it's the beaver that you put the leader sigil onto or the alpha that you put the dam builder sigil onto, it'll also be getting two extra attack points since there are two cards next to it with the leader sigil. Now in total this only ends up with, you know, five total attack, which isn't too crazy, uh, but certainly not bad for like a two blood cost or a four bone cost depending on which card you put it on. And it's just kind of funny immediately summoning <laughs> three cards that are all powering each other up. Next is the beehive sigil, in combination with the dam builder sigil essentially, you know, turns one beehive into three. Now you have three things that can take hits and give you a B uh, whenever it gets hit. I like to call this combo the Beaver, personally. So I mentioned the Cuckoo earlier, uh, and that also has a pretty wacky combo with this. Now it's not, you know, uh, necessarily the best play, but it is pretty funny. With uh, the Cuckoo's Brood Parasite Sigil, it places a broken egg, essentially blocking one of Leshy's spaces. And when you combine this with the Dam Builder Sigil, you're summoning three broken eggs and immediately just blocking three of Leshy's spaces. So now he only has one zone to fight with. But you're also blocking two of your own spaces, and the third is just a Cuckoo, which, you know, has one base attack. Uh, and of course, the biggest problem with this is that sometimes, instead of a broken egg, the Brood Parasite Sigil puts down a Raven Egg. So you might end up just screwing yourself by doing this, uh, but it's worth it because it's hilarious. Not good though, don't do this if you're trying to win. Now, uh, one of the really, like, interesting and weird interactions is with the Dire Wolf Pup specifically. The Dire Wolf Pup has two sigils, the Fledgling Sigil, which evolves it into a dire wolf after a turn, and the bone finder sigil, which lets you just get a free bone token at the end of your turn. Now when you sacrifice the dire wolf pup's sigils onto a beaver and you summon the beaver, you now have three cards that have this bone finder sigil, so at the end of your turn you get three bone tokens, and then all three cards will evolve with the fledgling sigil. Now the dams of course have one of the uh, secret name changes with the fledgling sigil, they become god dam, which is pretty funny. And now off of this, at least the dams are also able to attack. Um, you know, they also have more health, which is kind of cool. But what's really interesting about this combo is after the cards all evolve with the fledgling sigil, 
uh, they start giving two bones at the end of every turn instead of just one with the bone finder sigil. I don't know if this is intended or not, but it seems like the fledgling sigil not only buffs the card's stats, but also in this specific case buffs the sigil, uh, the bone finder sigil, to give an extra bone at the end of every turn. So this uh, combo can actually be really good for like a bone, uh, you know, build. If you're trying specifically to focus on bone tokens or maybe uh, the lammer, then this will get you three bones at the end of the first turn, and every turn after that, six bone tokens as long as those cards remain on the field. So a uh, pretty quick way to get some bone tokens, uh, and really interesting too just how that interaction works out. Uh, it might be fun to uh, try this out, actually. <laughs> Let me know if I should do that. Try and make an actual, like, just focus on bone tokens as the strategy for a run. I don't know, we'll see if it'll work. Now, one of the biggest problems with the Dam Builder Sigil can happen if Leshy ends up having any flying or airborne creatures. And the reason for this, of course, is because the dams don't block flying creatures, you know, they don't have the Mighty Leap Sigil, and also, you can't sacrifice them since they're terrain cards. So, in some cases, if Leshy has any airborne cards, uh, you could end up in a bit of a bad situation. You can't do anything with those dams, and they're not blocking or doing anything, and you're just getting attacked by Leshy's birds. However, uh, there is one particular combo that gets around this problem. And that's due to another sigil that was buffed in Casey's mod. That sigil is the Worthy Sacrifice sigil, and the way that it was buffed is it made it so that if any terrain cards have the Worthy Sacrifice sigil, then they can now also be sacrificed for up to three blood. So combining the Worthy Sacrifice sigil with the uh, Dam Builder sigil essentially lets you get three black goats just for summoning one of them. Of course, you could also put the Magpie's Hoarder Sigil onto the Beaver, or the Beaver's Dam Builder Sigil onto a Magpie, and then, whenever you summon it, you get to search not only one card, but three. Now, again, you're kind of blocking off spaces with these unsacrificable dams in that case, so... Uh, that one's a little... a little questionable, but kind of funny how you can just search three cards at once. Probably the best uh, combo with this is the Pack Rat and its sigil, uh, which of course gets you an item, but when you put the, you know, when you throw the Dam Builder sigil into the mix there, you get three items just for summoning one card. Getting a full new, you know, loadout of items every single battle whenever you summon this thing is uh, pretty strong. And again, honestly, probably the like, best thing you could do with this combo. Of course, in Skullstorm, you can only have two items at a time, so it's not as useful there, but for normal runs, this is, uh, actually really good. And then, lastly, my favorite combo with the Dam Builder Sigil is to mix it with the Great Kraken from that Kingfisher starter deck. That's the only place you can get the Great Kraken, is with that starter deck. Uh, but it's a really unique card in that it has a special version of the Waterborne Sigil, making it so that at the end of a turn it goes underwater, but when it resurfaces, it uh, randomly becomes one of the three tentacle cards. Now when you place the Dam Builder Sigil on the Great Kraken, it makes it so that those dams also have the special exclusive uh, Waterborne Sigil. So for the price of, you know, one blood, this Great Kraken, you get three random tentacle cards. And sometimes this can be really good if you get a lot of bell tentacles or hand tentacles if you have a lot of cards in your hand. Uh, and then other times it can be really bad if you end up with three mirror tentacles. <laughs> but yeah, that one's just hilarious. Uh, this whole you know, Sigil and all the combos it can do are are pretty funny. I like the uh, variety of interactions. Again, some are not very good, some are actually really cool. So, uh, let me know which one is your favorite, I guess. As usual, I don't know how to end the video. Uh, 